Major is addressing Harvey Kunkel, Snook's next-door neighbor and bitter enemy. My, Harvey, you're certainly bringing the most unusual pet of all. You say you're bringing a mama set? Yes, indeed, Miss Teasdale. And in case you don't know, a mama set is a species of small South American monkey. I'm aware of that, Harvey, and I think it's very exciting. And now, Snook, what pet are you bringing? What pet am I bringing? Yes. What is it? Well, it's, uh... Well, it's going to be a better pet than Harvey's old mama laid. <laughs> That's mama set. Well, what are you bringing? Well... It's in... It's in... Um, well... I'm waiting. Well, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, she doesn't have a pet at all. I do, too. It's a kangaroo. A kangaroo? In case you don't know, a kangaroo is... I a... know what a kangaroo is. What is it? <laughs> Look, where would you get a kangaroo? Where do they come from? Australia. That's where I got it. <laughs> An Australian kangaroo, eh? I suppose you've been to Sydney. Yeah, Sydney sold that to me. <laughs> well, suppose you tell me more about this kangaroo of yours, Snook. Well, it's the most beautiful kangaroo you ever saw. And it's got purple eyes and a long green... I see. And I suppose it's got a pink mustache. How did you know? Look, <laughs> you're going a little bit too far. Apparently, you don't even know what a kangaroo is. I do, too. I got one at home. Well, tell me, does it have a pouch on its stomach? Huh? Does it have a pouch on its stomach like all other kangaroos? A pouch! And what does it keep in the pouch? Tobacco. <laughs> it's a pouch full of tobacco. Yeah, and he's got a zipper on it. <laughs> oh, brother, can this kid tell him? <laughs> now, Harvey, please. If Snook says she has a kangaroo, it's up to us to believe her until the pet show. Personally, I'd give anything to see this kangaroo. That goes for both of me. Holy Toledo, Vera. Do you mean to say that Snooks told her teacher she was taking a kangaroo to the pet show tomorrow afternoon? Well, you know, Snooks, she's trying to outdo little Harvey Kunkel, who's bringing a monkey or something. Well, that's no excuse for lying. I better have a talk with her this minute. Oh, Snooks! These fantastic stories of hers. Snooks! Are you out there, Snooks? I'll be right there, Daddy. Well, Lancelot, I'll leave you alone with the old master fibber. See you later. Come in, Snooks. And sit down here. What's the matter? What's the matter? Yeah. It seems to me that question should be going in the opposite direction. It should? Yes. All right. Matter the what? <laughs> I meant I should be asking you what's the matter. Why? How is your kangaroo? Oh, bye, Daddy. I'll see you later. Come back here. <laughs> the idea of telling Miss Teasdale you were bringing a kangaroo to school. Why, it's it's preposterous. It ain't p -p -p what you said. <laughs> oh, I suppose you have a kangaroo. Well, uh, yeah. I saw a kangaroo in the garden yesterday. Oh, you did? You saw a kangaroo in the garden yesterday. You did? <laughs> you said you did. Did what? Oh, stop it. There wasn't any. I know it. Well, what did you say it for? That kangaroo Any... that was in the garden yesterday is just a figment of your imagination. Now, you cut it out. You know very well this kangaroo is one of your usual fibs. Now it isn't. Oh, it isn't. I think it's better than usual. Oh, you think it's smart to tell my Yeah. Name? Well, you're liable to wind up like the little boy who cried wolf. He told Fitz just like you. Did he tell people he had a kangaroo? Very likely. But he was noted for giving false alarms to the townspeople to save him from the wolves. Finally, no one believed him. And the wolves really did come. 
and they ate him up. Now, doesn't that prove anything to you? Yeah, the kid should have stuck to kangaroos. <laughs> oh, I give up with you. Now, listen, young lady, there's no excuse in the world for telling Miss Teasdale you are bringing a kangaroo to school. Why did you say such a thing? Well, it's an old fool and a dirty old Harvey Conkle. I never like him. Well, what do you have against Harvey, anyway? Well, for one thing, he hurt my little foot something terrible. Well, when was this? Yesterday, when I kicked him in the teeth. <laughs> And why did you kick him in the teeth? Because he broke my doll. Oh, I see. And how did Harvey break your doll? I hit him over the head with it. <laughs> and just to show up, Harvey Conkle, you lied about having a kangaroo. Don't you see that one lie leads to another? Now you'll have to go back to school in the morning and explain why you didn't bring the kangaroo. What are you going to tell the teacher? I know. I'm going to say the kangaroo exploded. That's the worst lie I ever yeah, heard. Yeah, blow up. Oh, you can't tell about well, it. Well, maybe tomorrow I can think of a better one. You tell the truth. You're going to march right into that class and tell everybody you don't have a kangaroo. That you're just a big faker. <laughs> now go to your room. I'm having lunch with Miss <laughs> I'll discuss this further when I get back. Oh, come on in, Higgins. I'll be right with you for lunch. Okay, Uncle. I'm hungry as a bear. You, uh, sure you aren't hungry as a kangaroo? Huh? Harvey told me all about it. <laughs> oh, what a little faker that kid of yours is. Oh, really? <laughs> a kangaroo. <laughs> I'll bet I know what gave her the kangaroo idea. She probably saw the pouches under your eyes. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, when your kid takes the monkey to school, he better stay away from the cage, or the people won't know which is the exhibit. <laughs> oh, now, Higgy, there's no sense of us quarreling just because your kid tells whoppers. She does, huh? Oh, Higgy, come off it. A kangaroo is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard of. Oh, it is? <laughs> yes. Well, it so happens that she has a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> she has? She has. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> I, uh, guess it runs in the family. <laughs> Higgins, I have $250 here that says that Snooks won't have a kangaroo at the school pet show. That's a bet, Uncle. This will teach you that my Snooks never tells a lie. Well, hi, you, Snooks. What are you doing down there? Oh, Mr. Wilson, I'm looking for a real life kangaroo. A kangaroo? Yeah. That's that raw animal, you know, the one that has his back pocket in the front? <laughs> Why, I know, Stuck, but they're not easy to get. You know, kangaroos come from a country that's far, far away. How far? Well, it's... We still have to go to quite a half. Well, Wilson. Huh? Don't you feel well? Oh, I feel wonderful. I've just come from a luncheon that was most exhilarating. And your exhilarator is still going. <laughs> Now, just think, Snook. Four hundred men at a banquet, and with three words, I wowed them. Have a thumbs, I said. <laughs> oh, boy, that's a good one. Yes, indeed. When people suffer from acid indigestion, Tums have it all over baking soda. Why? Because Tums go far beyond the relief baking soda can possibly give you. Yes, countless millions have discovered that Tums not only bring incredibly fast relief from burning heartburn... Upset stomach and that uncomfortable overfull feeling of acid indigestion, but actually help prevent immediate recurrence of the trouble. Equally important, there's nothing to mix with thumbs. You can take them anywhere, anytime, and get blessed, long lasting relief. So the next time you're suffering from acid indigestion, take thumbs. See how much more effective, more complete relief you get. Get to thumbs, T U M S, thumbs for the tummy from your druggist tonight. Only 10 cents a roll. Buy the one dollar box, save money, and always have Tums handy. Oh, 
poor Daddy Higgins. First, he scolds Snooks for telling a wild fib about bringing a kangaroo to school pet show tomorrow. But then, when neighbor Randolph Cunkle started ribbing him, Daddy got sore and made a big bet with Cunkle that Snooks did have a kangaroo. But how and where does one go about getting a kangaroo? Well, let's see. Daddy, how come you brought me to the zoo? Well, do you know any other place where I might possibly get a kangaroo for tomorrow night? Sure. Oh, where's that? Australia. Oh, sure. We'll go to Australia. Yeah. Let's go. Now, don't be idiotic. Australia's a foreign country, thousands of miles from here, across the equator. What's the equator? It's a band that encircles the globe. It is? Then Mommy just bought a new equator. <laughs> don't be silly. That's a girdle. Well, it encircles her globe. <laughs> That's not the idea at all. The equator is an imaginary band around the earth. What's imaginary about a girdle? Well, Mama imagines it makes her look thinner. You know, you got something there. And so has your mummy. <laughs> now stop bothering me. I'm trying to find the kangaroo cage. Oh, Daddy, look. What's that funny-looking big bird with a long leg? That's a stork. Now don't bother me. Is that the stork that wronged me? Leave me alone. Yeah, now, I want to know. Is that the stork that wronged me? Yeah, wronged me in the old party. All right, the stork. Get down, girl. <laughs> Because he's paying for his crime. <laughs> now, come on. Let's try this row of cages here. Gee, I wonder if they'll rent me a kangaroo. Daddy, Daddy, look at that hairy man in that cage. Oh, that's not a man, that's a monkey. Gee, it looks like Uncle Roy. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Roy. Oh, don't be silly. And it happens to be a female. Oh, how are you, Roy? Oh, stop that. Say, wait a minute. There's the kangaroo yeah. cage, Snooks. Gee, look. Yeah. There's two of them. And they all got pouches. Say, Daddy. What? All their pouches are empty. Oh, what about it? Oh, I guess they gave up smoking, huh? <laughs> oh, God, Let me call that keeper over here and see about renting one of these. Oh, keeper. Keeper? Yeah? What can I do for you, sir? I, uh, I'd like to rent one of your kangaroos. You do what? I said I'd like to rent a kangaroo. I only want it to tomorrow, and I'll pay a good price. Now, look, mister, this is a public zoo. We don't rent no kangaroos. In fact, the only time we ever let one out was when we put on a little show for some poor sick kids at an orphanage. Poor sick kids? Huh? Oh, oh, yes. Oh, oh, poor Sammy. My poor, sick little Sammy. Who's Sammy? I'd like to know myself. <laughs> no, Sammy, your poor, sick little brother. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, poor Sammy. Yeah. He's going to die. And all he wants before he goes is to see a real live kangaroo. Why, why? My little brother. Terrible. Your little brother's dying? What's wrong with him? Sinus trouble. <laughs> People die from sinus trouble? I'll take it from here. All right, she's got it wrong, Keeper. You see, uh, it started with sinus trouble, and then the infection moved up. Yeah, now it can't move his legs. <laughs> Wait a minute. I thought the infection moved up from his sinuses. Now, don't tell me, little girl, that your brother has sinuses in his feet. Well, he ain't supposed to have... Oh, he ain't supposed to have them there. No. Oh, no wonder he's so sick. Well, huh? sure, his toes ain't built to have all sinus troubles. No, keep quiet. Uh, you see, Keeper, the little girl's so upset about her brother, she's all mixed up. You see, Sam. Our poor little Sam. Yeah. Is sinking fast. I'd be glad to pay you a hundred dollars for your trouble. Oh, the poor little tyke. And all he wants is to see a real live kangaroo, yeah, huh? Real all right. Live one. I'll do it for a hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, sir. You're a kind man. Oh, it ain't just that. You see, I need that hundred for my little boy, Willie. Oh, poor, sick little Willie. He's going fast. 
Oh, gosh, that's awful. What's wrong with him? Athlete's foot. <laughs> and all he wants before he dies is to see a real live $100 bill. <laughs> oh, I get it. Here's the 100 Thanks. Come back when the two closes. I think it's dark enough now, Mr. Higgins. I'll get you the train when we use it right off in the show. Oh, fine. He answers to the name of Harry. Here, Harry. Come here, Harry.
kangaroo, where would you go? Australia. I mean on a train. Oh, Pittsburgh. No. St. Louis? No. Kangamagoo? Now, stop that. Maybe the port is going. Ring that bell, will you? All right. It's Harley. Oh, he's got the car. And he's just got it away from Harley. Oh. Hold the emergency. Oh. Oh. we got to stop the train and follow it. Oh. Come on, Chuck. Jump. Look at me. I'm down like a kangaroo on the hopper. <laughs> Oh, for Pete's sake. Here I am, stranded with you and a kangaroo in the middle of the Lincoln Highway. And nobody wants to give us a lift either. Oh, here comes another car. You know the road, buddy? Yeah. Why can't they stop? Life's too short to ignore fellow human beings in distress. You said it. We're only here one fleeting second in eternity. And then snuffed out. Why, Snooks, do you realize that every time I breathe, a man dies? Maybe you need a new toothbrush. <laughs> the reason we can't get a hitch is because of this kangaroo. Well, let's let him go, Daddy. What, and lose the bet with Conkle? I got a better idea. I'll put my hat, coat, and glasses on him, and we'll lay him down in the road and bend over him, crying. Why? Well, we'll pretend he's our uncle and he's been hit. All right. Here. Put this hat on, Uncle Harvey. Uh, oh, good. Now my coat and my glasses. There we are. Now lie down, Harry. Lie down, lie down, lie down. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, what a stubborn animal. Well, I hate to do this, but I'll have to knock him out. Step aside, Snooks. Let's only take one punch. All right. Sorry, Harry, but this has to be done. Can I help you up, Daddy? <laughs> oh, my jaw. Oh, Daddy. Wait, the car's almost here. Cry over me. Was he hit by a car? No, by a train. A train? Oh, there isn't a train within a mile of here. There isn't? No. Well, so you how hard it is. <laughs> oh. oh, shut up. Oh. All right, come here. Uh, how do you feel, fella? Oh, better. Help me into the car and get me to town. You were, you were. <laughs> Who's this? That's my uncle. What's he making those noises for? You're standing on his tail. <laughs> what time he can go down here? Now, uh, look, uh, Missy, mm -hmm. I know this sounds ridiculous, but we are stranded here with this darn kangaroo, and we have to get back to town. Mm -hmm. But he's quite harmless. Would you please give us a lift? Mm -hmm. Kangaroo, eh? Seems to me a man ought to satisfy just keep dog. Well, now we got to do a taste. Go on, get in, I'll bring you. Oh, thank heaven. <laughs> Darn fool. Well, there it is, Uncle. A real live kangaroo. Now are you paying up the 250? Now, look, Higgins, you must have known all along that you could get a kangaroo or you wouldn't have made that bet. Huh? You knew you had a sure, easy thing there. And that's not cricket. I'm sorry the bet's off. What? A sure, easy thing? That's the one I went through to get this kangaroo over to... Oh, Conkle! I... Any man lays a hand on me, I'll fix with the biggest lawsuit he ever had. Daddy, never mind. The pet show is ending. And the full bag about to ring, Daddy. Oh, yes, a bell. Now. A bell. Oh, yeah. All right, Conkle. No hard feelings. But step close and take a good look at Harry here. Well, that's better. Don't mind if I do. Kangaroos interest me. Daddy! Daddy! I'll admit the cargo fix for throwing kangaroos. Look, we'll be back in just a minute. If you're desperate for sleep,
sleep, so desperate you'd do almost anything for a good night's rest. Listen, here's how millions now enjoy sound, natural sleep every night. Natural sleep that lets you get up in the morning refreshed as only natural sleep can. Tonight, when you go to bed, slip a couple of Tums in your mouth and see how gloriously you sleep. Now, the reason Tums promote sound and natural sleep is just this. Sleepless nights are often caused by acid indigestion. And the Tums almost instantly relieve acid indigestion, settle, sweeten, and calm your stomach. Equally important, Tums help prevent immediate recurrence of acid indigestion. Thus, when you go to sleep, you sleep soundly the whole night through. Get Tums, T-U-M-S, Tums for the tummy from your druggist tonight. Ten cents a roll, free roll box a quarter. Join the millions who now enjoy sound and natural sleep every night thanks to Tums. Now, here's Snooks again. Well, Snooks, we had quite a time with Harry the kangaroo, didn't we? Yeah, but that Harry's a crook. A crook? What are you talking about? Well, I dropped a quarter in his pouch, and he wouldn't let me go in there after it. Oh, good night, Snooks. Good night, Harry. Good night, everybody. Plans are an asset, not like it. For the plans are not to be, there's nothing quite like nature's remedy known to millions as NR tablets. You see, NR tablets contain no harsh drugs, no phenyl derivatives, no trace of salts. They're all vegetables. That's why NR tablets are so gently effective. Why you feel like a new person after taking Try a 25-cent box of NR tablets. See if you don't say NR tonight, tomorrow, all right. This is Don Wilson reminding you that night and day, at home or away, always carry Tums. T-U-M-S. Tums for the tummy. (laughs) 